I'm spending another hour at the Department of Motor Vehicles in the great state of New York dealing with all of this various bullshit. So uh, here on this gloomy Tuesday, October 4th, 2022. Uh, so I was really digging deep about this new mark of the beast uh, driver's license that everybody is uh, required to get. Now I did confirm that Andrew Cuomo tried to tell uh, whoever's running this show, the State Department or the FBI or whoever the fuck it is uh, requiring this, he did try to tell them to go fuck themselves and uh, <laughs> I guess Andrew uh, wasn't quite able to pull that off as hard as he tried to accept New York drivers out of it. So anyway, Interesting pieces of information that, so there's actually now three different levels of, uh, of the mark of the beast. And one of them, you do not need to even get this fucking thing. Don't need to get the fucking thing uh, if you have a valid passport. Uh, you know, if you don't have this thing and you try to get on a on an airplane or go into a federal building or whatever, uh, you do not need the mark of the beast if you have a valid passport for the simple obvious reason that any passport that is now valid, you already got the mark of the beast that they're looking for in your passport, which they started a few years ago. See, this is how the uh, how they tighten the noose. So they started this program with passports a few years ago. Uh, you might remember uh, the the mark of the beast passport. And uh, so they got as many people in line with that, and now they're uh, casting a wider net and a tighter noose and moving it along to uh, driver's licenses. But if you already have a Mark of the Beast passport and you're trying to do any of these things, like get on an airplane or in a federal building, you just take a valid passport and that serves as the mark of the beast that they're looking for. So that is option one. And then option two it costs $12.50. So for at least in New York, and I think this is a federal thing, so for $12.50, you get an enhanced driver's license. So you get, you still get the mark of the beast that lets you get into, uh, you know, airports and airplanes and federal buildings and whatnot. Uh, so you still get that uh, for $12.50. Uh, and, and so you're fine down the road. But if you want to spend $40, if you want to spend $40, you get the super duper mark of the beast and you will get this little uh, thing on your regular driver's license, which will allow you to cross into Canada or Mexico. Uh, it'll serve the same purpose as a driver's, as a passport with the mark of the beast uh, to get into Canada or Mexico, supposedly. But if you get the middle of the road mark of the beast for 1250, and you have a valid uh, passport, uh, it, that covers you, you know, crossing the border. So I went with the middle of the road, and I went ahead and got the mark of the beast. The main reason that I did that was uh, the main reason I did that was because uh, my address 
is not my correct address uh, on the thing. So to change my address on my uh, driver's license was $17.50, but if I got the mark of the beast, I could save $5 and I only had to pay $12.50, so I have my correct address and the mark of the beast. So uh, I got the $12.50 mark of the beast uh, instead of the super uh, mark of the beast. But anyway, interesting. How I have no idea how to enter this fucking school. I, 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 I tried to go through the entrance and they had a locked gate. So then I went into the next one and it says exit only. So uh, now I'm going here, speaking of the mark of the beast, to pay my fucking school taxes to educate the future uh, McDonald's burger flippers of America from Candor, New York. I am being a good little slave today, boy. A good little slave. I suggest you get out there and be a good little slave while you still can before you end up in federal prison. So I was asking the woman, so, okay, if I don't get the mark of the beast and I'm not allowed in, in federal buildings, does that mean I can't get thrown into federal prison? If I don't get this, since I'm not allowed in federal buildings, I said, will this keep me from being thrown in federal prison? Uh, when I get arrested for uh, not having a correctly, uh, the correct little sticker on my windshield. You know, I have one, peeling off stickers off of one windshield, putting them on the other. The woman honestly did not know whether that would keep me out of federal prison buildings or not. She said, probably not. My guys.